Welcome to Game Rating Review. My name is Jean-Marc Lujan, and this is my E3 special where I look over the press conferences that are going on during E3. And the one I'm doing today is Bethesda. Oh boy, Bethesda. I expected a lot from Bethesda. They're my favorite publisher, and I love all of their games. Press conference didn't start off well. It started with kids and family which is not what anyone really thinks of when they think of Bethesda. And maybe that was part of the joke because as the press conference went on, they went around this animated place. It was like an amusement park. So maybe they were trying to be ironic or something. But it wasn't great. Uh, the opening was cringeworthy and embarrassing for them. <laughs> and I didn't like it. And... Let's move on to what else they did. They immediately swung into VR. They just showed Bethesda VR, and then they showed Doom VFR, and then they showed Fallout 4 VR. Cool. I don't care because they were all they, none of them were for PlayStation. I didn't see any of them for PlayStation VR. Maybe they were just showing it for one thing, but it was a little disappointing because of that. Then they show the Creation Club, where they kind of just showed, hey, this is where all of our, like, extra content for the games is coming from. Like, DLC for, like, Elder Scrolls and Fallout. Then they showed Elder Scrolls Legends, which is a card game. And there's going to be Skyrim cards. I don't care. They showed Skyrim running on you know the switch which was okay but then they showed them put an amiibo up to it and you were in zelda armor and i lost my mind because i'm like oh i might get it now <laughs> that's awesome you could actually play zelda in skyrim it's like a dream that's like an unreal fantasy dope dream or something unbelievable that was crazy that was one of my most exciting parts of this entire press conference <laughs> and that's kind of sad should the new DLC for Dishonored uh, playing with someone they kind of built up in the second Dishonored and you don't really get to see it's called Death of the Outsider looked fine it looked okay uh, Dishonored was really fun I really stuck my teeth into that and enjoyed every minute of it Dishonored 2 was fantastic one of the best games I've ever played then they moved on to Quake Champions uh, the Quake game, which I thought already came out. I, I guess I was wrong. I really thought the Quake game came out already. So it was weird. They're like, try to beta. Maybe Quake, it was Quake Champion. But I think that's the name of the competition that's coming out for $1 million. That's a big deal, I guess. But uh, I don't really care about that at all. I, I, it's cool. Because Dallas isn't far from where I live. It is far, but it's closer than where I used to live. And um, wh whatever. Then they showed uh, the trailer for Evil Within 2, um, this looked amazing. I think it looked even better than the first one. And I wanted to play the first one. I just heard so many mixed things. I, I never actually played it. I was kind of afraid to. Did it look cool? <laughs> it, it looked it looked cool. It looked like you know, Resident Evil's being resurrected through Bethesda. Great. And then they ended it with Wolfenstein 2 New Colossus, which everyone knew was happening. That was the entire press conference. So it was like Microsoft started the day, and they were two hours long. And Bethesda came in, and they're 40 minutes, and they're done. <laughs> and that was it. Uh, mainly because they had nothing to show. They had two trailers, and the rest of it was filler, I think. They also did Elder Scrolls Online, which I didn't mention on here because I, we, it's already out. We don't need any more information about Elder Scrolls Online. But yeah, 40 minutes real quick real fast i really appreciate that especially in the middle of the night like it is right now and i'm trying not to pass out on my microphone it wasn't last year or even the year before like it wasn't like yeah uh, mainly because there's not a lot of games coming out so uh, where would i rate bethesda it was good it had some exciting moments and it knew kind of where to keep its place because it knew it didn't have a lot of stuff it didn't so it didn't show a lot um, but it also had a lot of dumb stuff like right at the beginning so i'm actually going to give this one a five out of ten uh if they showed games that i 
cared about, I'd probably care more. Wolfenstein is exciting. Evil Within, eh, and a lot of DLC that showed, and VR, I don't own a VR headset. So, for me personally, it's a five. It, it had some enough exciting things to be better than EA, which I put at a four, but not exciting enough to break into anything that makes me more excited. So yeah, five seems fair for Bethesda. And yeah, uh, please hit the like, share button, and click see. That would really make me happy. And uh, stay tuned, because I have some more of these videos coming out. We have more E3 to go around. And yeah, just stay tuned for stuff. I'm really tired. I don't know if you can tell, but I am like about to fall over. <laughs>